Please welcome Zuri Hall and Rutledge Wood, our hosts for Macy's 4th of July fireworks. Hello, guys. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Noah? I'm loving the energy, <laughs> Noah. Oh, yes, you know, I'm in the 4th of July spirit. Happy 4th to you both. Thank you. Back at you. It's so nice to see you guys virtually. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this with me today. But let's go ahead and get started. So NBC's Macy's 4th of July fireworks is back for a dazzling evening of surprises. So you guys, how honored were you when you both found out you'd be hosting Macy's iconic 4th of July fireworks? Zuri, you can take the lead and then Rutledge, you can share your answer. Okay, uh, thanks for that also. This Zoom dance is always <laughs> so precarious. Um, I was really excited. You know, the, the Macy's fireworks display is iconic. Um, I love it. I've watched for years. It's, it's so special. And to be a part of the NBC family for as long as I've been a part of it, and then to be asked to, you know, help lead this charge to co-host such an incredible show with Rutledge. I really couldn't believe it. I was super excited. I did the little like happy squeal. I think I was tiptoeing out of a meeting so I couldn't be too loud at the time. And then it kind of sits with you for a minute afterwards. And it's like, holy crap, like I'm about to be a part of something really epic. You know, 4th of July has always been a really special holiday uh, for me and my family. I come from a military family. Um, so, you know, having served uh, so many of my family members, it's, it's a really important holiday. And so it's special now to know that wherever they are in the nation, mostly Ohio, they get to tune in and, and watch me celebrate our nation's history. And, you know, that. Noah, well, for me, the description, you know, that I got from NBC was, okay, so there's Macy's, New York City, fireworks. I was like, yes, 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 I'm in. And then they said Zuri Hall. And I was oh like, I'm God. there. <laughs> Absolutely Rutledge. put me in, coach. It's true, Zuri. This is so fun to get to watch you. And now we get to go be a team together. Oh. It's so exciting. But, you know, when you talk to any of my friends from New York, you know, this event is so special. The fact that Zuri and I get to host the 47th annual Macy's fireworks display is is unbelievable. You know, it's on the epic. biggest and best network that this country has, it's so cool. I know, uh, you know, I do a show called Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge that would normally be on at 10 p.m. tonight, and I think my crowd was like a little bit sad, but then they realized they're going to get the best fireworks <laughs> display in the country. They were all in. Yep. Rutledge for two hours, you guys. What? You know, uh-huh. And Zuri, you know, yeah. <laughs> now, Zuri, talk to me about the epic lineup that's happening tonight with Macy's. It's huge. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the names just keep on coming. There's so much. Obviously, we have the biggest fireworks display in the nation, so you got to watch for that. Um, Ashanti is taking the stage. Ja Rule, we that. have Link. Wilson, Jelly Roll, BB Rexa, uh, LL Cool J, The Roots, DJ Z Trip, the list goes on and on. You do not want to miss it. These stages are going to just blow your mind. Now, this being the 47th annual Fireworks Spectacular with Macy's, Rutledge, did you grow up watching the show as a kid? Absolutely. You know, we, we were lucky enough that in Birmingham, Alabama, where I grew up, we could go to the fireworks that they had there, and then we'd make it home in time to see the big fireworks. Uh, which, let's be honest, they, they really blow every other town out of the water. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of a different tradition for me. I live in a little town called Peachtree City, Georgia, where we have this great Fourth of July parade every year that we're always a part of. You either go or you're in the parade. So my daughters were, two of my daughters were in it uh, today. The other one went and watched uh, with mom. But, you know, Wait, it's, you're it's saying funny today, to have... Rutledge? Yes, Absolutely. That's incredible. We could have been there, but since we aren't, I don't think we're at like private jet status yet. Yeah. One day I'll take you to the parade there. Then we'll like come up here and do this. We'll pick up Noah on the way. It'll blow his mind too. But you know, it's, here. it's a new Talk tradition. Man. That's what it is. There we go. Man with a plan. You know, that's right, guys. Zuri, how about for you? Like, did you grow up watching, you know, Macy's as a kid? Yeah, I did. You know, we would always go. I grew up in Toledo, Ohio. So we would always go to our local hometown parade. Not unlike Rutledge was saying, you know, my papa would take us and all of the kids would line the streets. We'd have our flags and our little chairs and all of the candy oh. that we're trying to catch from people, you know, throwing things <laughs> onto a float. Um, we also <laughs> did some of our own fun fireworks, you know, like go in the backyard and try to set some stuff yeah. off and not blow up a finger Sparklers. or two. So luckily no traumatic events uh, in my childhood with that. Um, but yeah, it was always very much a part of, of my childhood. 
ending the night, you know, with that incredible uh, fireworks display. So to finally be a part of it, to see it up close and personal, and to get to do it with this dude who is clearly not funny or charming or exciting at all. I mean, come on. I'm a lucky girl. Now, you guys, how are y'all prepping for the live show? Feeling any pressure? I think I'll, I'll speak for both of us. Uh, I think our biggest thing is seeing Ja Rule and Ashanti reunited on stage. We're going to oh, yeah. have to be our own crowd control to not just completely <laughs> fangirl and fanboy. Really? Am I, I right? I swear to you, I swear to you, that was my thing. Where I was just like, when Ja Rule and Ashanti come together, I'm going to need a little bit of what's love. I'm going to need Ashanti uh -huh. to step in and me pretending there's a Ferris wheel behind her. Like, that's the moment that I'm waiting for. You'll hear me just shout murdering in the background. <laughs> <laughs> a shark oh, sorry. No, we we are yeah. we are doing real prep, by the way. It's just we are <laughs> genuinely so excited because you know to get to be up close to this kind of action is such a treat okay. for us. I mean, we get to do a lot of fun things for work, but to be in New York City in the just like feels like the heart uh, and soul of this you know celebration for Independence Day. It's going to be insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys, as we're celebrating Independence Day, talk to me about what the 4th of July really means to you both personally. Hmm. Rutledge, you want to kick it off? Sure, absolutely. You know, for me, um, it was always, you know, growing up in the South, I've, I've lived in Alabama until I was 15, in Georgia since I was 15. Um, and it's one of these holidays where you really see so many people from so many different walks of life come together to just celebrate this nation in such a beautiful way. I think the way that we honor the armed forces every year is the best part of this, because certainly we wouldn't be able to enjoy these freedoms without them. So to me, it's just one of these great times, especially like we've had so many July 4th where we were racing uh, and I was covering NASCAR at those events. And that really felt like just this perfect culmination uh, of everything. But I really do think it's a great time for people to slow down uh, and celebrate, you know, how we got here, what a great country this is. And really, and honestly, it, it ends up sparking a lot of conversations about the work we have left to do to make sure that everyone feels honored and loved in this place. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that, that's so well said. And to, you know, drive home Rutledge's point, as I mentioned, coming from a military family, um, it, it's a point of pride to be able to celebrate. We have a nation with a very complicated history. Um, and yet still, there is so much pride to be a part of you know, um, a family who has taken pride in defending and supporting and protecting that nation and our rights. And at the end of the day, we do have a long way to go, um, but we're we're trying our best to make forward progress. And I have a lot of hopes about the future. And, you know, in the meantime, as we continue that journey, I am very excited to celebrate um, the good of this nation, of this beautiful nation. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a black woman from Toledo, Ohio, from the inner city of Toledo, Ohio. I came from nothing, you know, financially, but a lot of love and hope and encouragement. And I look at my life and I see the American dream. And to now be a black woman on national television, on NBC, no less, co-hosting this incredible show that is such a, you know, a big moment for our country, that in itself says a lot about, you know, the direction we're headed and you know, hopefully we can keep in that direction. Uh, but I'm, I'm very grateful to be a part of it and I'm looking forward to tonight, absolutely. Oh, be sure to catch Macy's 4th of July fireworks airing tonight at 8, 7 central on NBC and available to stream live on Peacock. And also you can DVR if you're going out for 4th of July festivities, but be sure to watch it. You can catch Zuri Hall on Access Hollywood every weekday at 8 p.m. ETPT on NBC and streams on Peacock. And Rutledge Wood hosting Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge airing Tuesdays at 10 p.m. ETPT on NBC and also streams the next day on Peacock. Thank you both for coming on the show. Happy 4th, you guys. Happy I know. Fourth. Thanks, buddy. Happy 4th. See you tonight. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and that's how we do it. No, you're the best. Thanks, buddy. You're awesome.